Well, let's dive into that. Gynecological health is a key component of overall wellness, and having awareness about it is essential, regardless of your gender. The world of gynecology might seem vast and complex, but it's all about understanding and taking care of the female reproductive system, which plays a pivotal role not just in reproduction but in overall health too. Knowledge of common gynecological conditions can be a lifesaver. It can help in early detection and timely treatment of potential issues, leading to better health outcomes. From menstrual irregularities to more serious conditions like polycystic ovary syndrome, endometriosis, or uterine fibroids, understanding these conditions can empower individuals to take control of their health. So let's embark on this journey of understanding and demystifying gynecological health. In this video, we will discuss common gynecological conditions, their symptoms, and potential treatments. Polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, is a common condition affecting many women worldwide. It's a health problem that's often misunderstood or overlooked, yet it's more prevalent than you might think. So what exactly is PCOS? It's a hormonal disorder that affects women of reproductive age. Women with PCOS may have infrequent or prolonged menstrual periods, and their ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid, known as follicles, which can lead to the ovaries failing to regularly release eggs. PCOS can present itself in various ways, and its symptoms can be quite diverse. One of the most common symptoms is irregular periods. This is usually the first sign of PCOS and is often caused by a lack of ovulation, preventing the uterine lining from shedding every month. Another common symptom is excessive body and facial hair, known as hirsutism. This occurs in about 70% of women with PCOS and is caused by an overproduction of male hormones. Other symptoms include weight gain, acne, and thinning hair on the scalp. Perhaps one of the most distressing symptoms for many women is difficulty getting pregnant. PCOS is one of the leading causes of infertility in women. However, it's important to remember that having PCOS does not mean you can't get pregnant. It just may require some assistance and patience. So, how can PCOS be treated? While there's no cure for PCOS, the symptoms can be managed and complications can be minimized. Lifestyle changes such as healthy eating and regular exercise can help regulate your menstrual cycle and lower your blood glucose levels. Medications may also be used to regulate your menstrual cycle or to help you ovulate if you're trying to become pregnant. In essence, PCOS is a complex condition with a wide range of symptoms, but the key to managing it lies in understanding it. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to navigate the challenges it presents. Awareness and early detection of PCOS can greatly improve a woman's quality of life. Endometriosis, another common gynecological condition, often goes undiagnosed, but let's shed some light on it today. Endometriosis is a condition in which the tissue similar to the lining of the uterus, the endometrium, grows outside the uterus. This misplaced tissue can be found on the ovaries, fallopian tubes, and even on the bladder or intestines. While this tissue outside the uterus continues to act as it normally would, thickening, breaking down and bleeding with each menstrual cycle, it has no way to exit the body. This leads to internal bleeding, inflammation, and scarring which can cause a host of symptoms and complications. One of the most common signs of endometriosis is pain, especially during periods. For some women, menstrual pain with endometriosis is far worse than typical cramps. They may also experience chronic lower back and pelvic pain. Pain during or after intercourse is another common symptom of endometriosis. Furthermore, endometriosis can lead to fertility problems, while not all women with endometriosis are infertile, it can make it harder to get pregnant. If you're experiencing these symptoms, it's important to talk to a healthcare professional. They can help diagnose the condition through methods like pelvic exams, ultrasounds, or even a laparoscopy. Now let's talk about treatment. There's no definitive cure for endometriosis, but its symptoms can be managed. Pain medications are often the first line of defense to help manage the pain. Hormone therapy can also help by slowing the growth of the endometrial tissue and preventing new adhesions. This can not only help manage symptoms, but also increase the chances of getting pregnant. In some cases, surgery might be recommended. 
This can range from a laparoscopic procedure to remove the endometrial tissue to a more invasive surgery like a hysterectomy in severe cases. Remember, the key is to not let endometriosis go undiagnosed or untreated. It's a common condition and you're not alone. Understanding endometriosis can make a huge difference in managing the condition and improving overall health. Uterine fibroids are non-cancerous growths of the uterus that often appear during childbearing years. These mysterious masses are made up of muscle cells and other tissues that grow within the walls of the uterus. Despite the ominous term growth, it's important to remember that uterine fibroids are typically benign, which means they are not cancerous. Now, let's dive into the symptoms. Picture this. You're going about your day-to-day -day life, and you start noticing that your menstrual cycle is becoming unusually heavy. You might also experience periods that seem to last forever. Okay, not forever, but certainly longer than the typical seven days. And then there's the pelvic pain and pressure. It's not constant, but it comes and goes, making you feel uncomfortable and uneasy. Yes, these are some telltale signs of uterine fibroids. But here's the good news. It's not all doom and gloom. There are a variety of treatments available. Some women might find relief through medication that manages the symptoms. This could be anything from drugs that regulate your menstrual cycle to pain relievers for that pesky pelvic pain. For others, a more direct approach might be necessary. This could involve a procedure known as a myomectomy, which surgically removes the fibroids from the uterus. In more severe cases, a hysterectomy or the removal of the uterus might be considered. But don't worry. These are usually last resorts, and there are many other treatment options to explore first. So why are we talking about this? Because knowledge is power, and understanding what's going on in your body can help you take control of your health. Uterine fibroids might sound scary, but they're actually quite common, and with the right treatment, they can be managed effectively. Early detection and treatment of uterine fibroids can prevent complications and improve a woman's reproductive health. So if you're experiencing any of these symptoms, don't hesitate to reach out to your healthcare provider. It's your body, your health, and you have the power to take control. Gynecological health is a vital aspect of overall health, yet it often gets overlooked. Throughout this discussion, we've explored several common gynecological conditions that affect many women across the globe. We kicked off with polycystic ovary syndrome, or PCOS, a hormonal disorder that can lead to irregular periods, excessive hair growth, and sometimes difficulties in conceiving. It's a condition that's often underdiagnosed, largely because its symptoms can be easily mistaken for other health issues. But with awareness and appropriate medical intervention, PCOS can be managed effectively. Next, we delved into endometriosis, a condition where tissue similar to the lining of the uterus is found outside the uterus. This can cause severe pain, heavy periods, and can impact fertility. It's a condition that can be challenging to diagnose because its symptoms can mimic those of other conditions. Yet, with the right treatment and support, women with endometriosis can lead fulfilling lives. Our journey also took us through the realm of uterine fibroids, these non-cancerous growths in the uterus can range in size and number, often leading to heavy menstrual bleeding and pelvic discomfort. While fibroids are common and usually benign, they can sometimes cause complications, emphasizing the importance of regular checkups and early detection. In each of these conditions, the common thread is that awareness and understanding are key. They highlight the importance of regular gynecological checkups for early detection and management. Because the sooner these conditions are identified, the sooner treatment can begin, and the better the health outcomes can be. Remember, gynecological health is not a taboo topic. It's a crucial part of overall health and well-being. It's not just about dealing with conditions when they arise, and, but about proactive health management, about being aware of your body, and about seeking help when you need it. Armed with knowledge, women can take charge of their gynecological health leading to better health outcomes. So let's continue to learn, to share, and to support each other on this journey to better health.